I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 36. Let's focus on verses 5 through 10. Your mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep, O Lord. You preserve man and beast. How precious is your loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. You know, God's mercy, faithfulness, righteousness, and judgment all work together to give us a glimpse of his holiness. And it's not arbitrary that David combines these attributes in his worship of the Lord as David sought refuge under God's wings, as it were. Now, the grace of God is shown to mankind even though all men are sinful. And we can be confident that God will show us mercy whenever we turn from our sin. Now, God literally protects the same people whom before they repented deserved his rebuke. When we see the word wings, we should be reminded of the prophet Malachi as he is speaking of the Messiah. Malachi 4 verse 2. But you, to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness, shall arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. Jesus described his desire to show mercy, particularly concerning those who killed and stoned even the prophets. And the image that Jesus used was that of a mother hen extending her wings of protection to her wayward chicks. Matthew 23, verse 37, Jesus said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who were sent to her, how often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing." Not only do repentant sinners come under the protection of the Lord, but also his direction, his light and provision are literally his fountains of living water. Revelation 22 verse 17, And the Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13, listen to what he says for those who don't want the water of the Lord. He says, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewn themselves, they've dug themselves, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. Or what about John chapter 4, verse 10? Jesus answered and said to her, the woman at the well, If you knew the gift of God, And who it is who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Come to Jesus. Receive the living water that you may never thirst again. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. You know, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And your giving to Groundworks Ministries transforms lives. Would you consider making a donation to Groundworks Ministries today? We need your monthly support now more than ever. Donating is secure and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. You know, another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. You can share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. Of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.